Welcome to the very first Live from the Monroe Room series. We are the Imagine Trio plus Eugene Jablonski. That's Lauren McKinley over there on Vibes, Brendan McMurphy on drums. My name's Rachel Dade McMurphy, and back on the bass, that's Eugene Jablonski. Our hope with this series is that we can raise enough money uh, that we'll be able to continue this series weekly um, to help musicians who have been out of work due to COVID-19 shutdowns. Uh, so you'll be able to see the information on the links. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways that you can donate um, through Rick Clark and his Live at Five. You can go directly to our website, which is imaginejazz.org, and we'll be plugging that throughout the show. Uh, we're going to get started with some music. We're going to start with a wonderful 1970s tune written by Stanley Cowell called Equipoise. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Hopefully. 
hopefully everybody out at home is having a good time and we're, we're so excited that we can come right to you in your living rooms and homes to make this great music. I can't really express how um, exciting it is to finally be making some music with other individuals after what is just over about 90 days of um, making music with other individuals. So um, <laughs> I know the others have probably expressed the same things if they could do so through their masks. <laughs> also, I uh, hope everybody is um, safe and social distancing and whatnot, as this is no joke. Uh, we're going to move on to a Luis Bonfa tune called The Gentle Rain. <laughs> Thank you. 
So many of us work in, in various formats, and uh, everything from traditional to modern jazz and even pop settings. Um, Eugene uh, works um, in a lot of orchestral settings as well. Um, the best of Broadway series, Spokane Jazz Orchestra. Um, he's played with the Spokane Symphony. He does some uh, kosher red hots, which is, uh, well, <laughs> I don't want to describe that, but um, it's super Jewish cool. Music. Yeah, Jewish music. It is super cool. And uh, let's see, what else do you do? You have uh, Irish music. Irish music. Yeah. Western, uh, sh uh, the Shut, Shut Up and Playboys. Shut Up and Playboys. You'll see him. You'll see Eugene in so many formats. He's absolutely fantastic. So we're happy to have him with us tonight. We're going to play a jazz standard. This is called It Could Happen to You. Last four. Last four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Hide your heart from sight. Log your dreams at night It could happen to you Don't count stars For you might stumble Someone drops aside And down you tumble Keep an eye on the spring Run when church bells break It could happen
someone drops a sigh And then now you storm a high Your heart from spring From the church bell spring I don't know if any of you who are tuning in were here when we did the fantastic uh, concert right here in person in the Monroe Room uh, where we featured Carl Allen, fantastic drummer who's played with everybody from Jackie McLean and uh, Freddie Hubbard and so many of the greats. And he was sitting right here uh, in the Monroe Room in Spokane. So if you were here for that, that was a really special event. And um, we hope to have more events right here in the Monroe Room eventually in person. But in the meantime, this live stream, we're so happy that this could, this could take place. And um, the more money we raise tonight, um, the more musicians we'll be able to help um, in the coming series. This next one is... Uh, an original composition, and uh, we titled this Myron and Friends. This is something that we would often play with the Imagine Collective, which is a slightly larger configuration sometimes, uh, but this is called Myron and Friends, which we also called Carving for Blade, um, which is kind of a tribute to Brian Blade and uh, those guys. One.
a nice little electronic um, input to the end of that. <laughs> That's called Myron and Friends. Um, this fantastic lady over on my right, which might be your left, this is Lauren McKinley. And uh, she's, done, she's done some really great things. Um, she went to Eastern Washington University for her undergrad and then went off to North Texas for her graduate work. And she's been arranging, um, she's been playing vibes and keyboards and doing all sorts of really amazing things. She's a composer, she writes big band charts, she also has uh, re recently written a commission for Cheney High School, um, which was super cool. I actually didn't get to see that yet, but maybe I will. <laughs> and uh, these folks are doing some really great things. Um, I do want to take just a minute to um, remind you or let you know if you haven't heard yet, um, we are doing a fundraiser tonight. So the funds that we raise tonight will go towards um, a live stream, not only to compensate these musicians, but it will go towards um, a a pool um, so that we can curate a live stream series right here from the Ro Monroe Room. We would like to be able to raise enough funds um, that we can hopefully be able to stream weekly, um, featuring as many different musicians and bands and types of music and genres as possible, ideally throughout the summer. So many musicians have been affected by the shutdowns with COVID-19. and. Um, if you're not a musician and aware of how that works, so much of their, um, their income is completely based on, um, on gig uh, mentality, um, which means if the restaurants and the venues aren't open, um, there's no performances. And as you know, we're only in phase two, and so some things are starting to open up again for very small settings. Um, but as far as the big concert settings, when we start to get 150 and people and more, um, it's gonna be a long time before that's back up again. Um, some musicians who make their money touring, they're not able to do that. Um, so Imagine Jazz, um, if you're not aware, we bring musicians in from New York and around the world. Um, so many of our musicians who we would normally bring in, um, they aren't working, <laughs> they're at home. So those who are able to teach on Skype, um, they're able to keep some of, a, um, of an income, but um, those that perform primarily there's there's not a lot of income and since you know we have really great unemployment benefits especially in Washington State but that's not true all over the world and uh, you know some some of those mu musicians maybe don't qualify because of various complicated things with um, contracts and, and things like that so there's a few different places that you can donate um, if you're a member of the um, live at five with uh, Rick Clark you can donate through any of his um, um, his Venmo and PayPal and all of that, which should be up there out on the, uh, on the streams there. You can also donate directly to our website, imaginejazz.org. Um, so if you want something that's a little easier to remember, you can go there. Um, there's stuff all over our Facebook pages and whatnot of how to find this, um, and you can always just write to Frank. He's back there behind the computer. Maybe he'll be able to answer your question. Uh, but thank you so much for uh, tuning in with us, and I know hopefully more people will tune in after we're done because this will replay again. Uh, we have a, a beautiful ballad next, which we're not going to play um, quite as a ballad. We're going to play um, with kind of a two-beat, uh, a, a double-time feel. Uh, this is a beautiful song called My Foolish Heart. Oh, here we go. Let's just vamp on the first, first two chords. Vamp on the first two chords.
Next, we have a, another jazz standard, and um, this one, my personal favorite version. Um, if, if you're somebody who follows jazz, or if you're somebody who maybe doesn't know this, 
Um, jazz musicians really like to um, copy and steal from the masters, and um, that, that's how we learn the language. And we uh, might listen to a whole bunch of different versions of one particular tune and, and learn the way this person and that person styles, maybe Charlie Parker or Lester Young or John Coltrane or insert any great, uh, fantastic jazz musician. Um, the particular version that I stole this phrasing from, and I added some words in order to do so, so if you're a jazz fan, you might know this one. I stole um, the phrasing from Lester Young with the Oscar Peterson trio, and this is almost like being in love. Yeah. Oh, I thought we'd do something different. Almost like being in love. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Okay. I was I think 
Love till the moment is through After the night and the music's gone Will I have you? Ooh, will I have you? We had a uh, we had a plan, and uh, and then we started, and we forgot that part. Uh, many of you may or may not know that Brendan, this drummer right here, is also a trumpet player, and uh, <laughs> and trumpet is actually his original instrument. Um, he went to WSU for both his bachelor's and his master's, and um, studied trumpet in that. He is also the trumpet teacher at Spokane Falls Community College. So if you have um, trumpet high schoolers who are looking for some lessons or um, wanting to do running start, then Brendan is your guy. And uh, sadly, you're not going to get to hear him play trumpet tonight, um, but another time. Or maybe we'll figure something out in a minute <laughs> when the set is over. Um, we are hoping to be able to live stream weekly um, with funds permitting. We will have different bands in here. Um, so many different bands we have um, on the list that we would like to be able to um, help and, and employ. Everything from singer-songwriters and uh, solo um, soloists and uh, classical chamber ensembles to um, crazy collaborations and rock bands and funk bands. And um, we would love to see them be able to play right here from this stage and come out to your living rooms and, and homes um, and be able to make music during this um, unprecedented time. So if you're um, able, we would certainly appreciate your donation. You can either do that direct to our website, www.imaginejazz.org, or any of the Venmo, PayPal stuff that um, should be out there on the, on the page. And um, at the end of this, we'll share it out if it's not there. But Rick Clark, Live at Five, he's out there doing some great stuff. And I think sharing this and uh, maybe Frank's put some stuff out there on the um, Monroe Room page. So if you have trouble finding it, We'll take care of you. Just uh, just message us. We would love to have your support in any amount. Um, this next selection is arranged by Brendan McMurphy. And uh, this is a song you will likely uh, recognize from um, uh, old-fashioned movies. Um, and this is called Blue Skies, but we put a slightly different spin on it. Not, yeah. the, not the chords in general. Okay. All right. Yeah. Here we go. One, two,
shadows, the shadows, the shadows that rain on bright from the land I can't see through. I can't see through the second heaven and see. Sun came shining through, maybe, maybe, maybe. Sun keeps shining, sun keeps, sun keeps shining through the shadows of the land, shadows of the land. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, we'll we'll keep you posted on the next ones. Um, I don't know how how the fundraising went out there, but we hope um, we hope it went well. Not not for our sake, but because we want to uh, we really want to help um, a lot of musicians, and um, it would be great to be able to do that right here at the Monroe Room. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again in person and maybe here at the ro uh, Monroe Room in person. But wherever it is that we see you, um, we do look forward to that time. Um, this next selection, the last selection that we're going to play, um, this is something that I entitled The Monster Sketch. And it is, in fact, just a sketch. It um, is oftentimes um, goes in very different places, and we never quite know exactly where that's going to be because we like to leave that option um, to express ourselves musically, but um, I will say about this is uh, it's probably a couple of years old and definitely had uh, something to do with <laughs> what we viewed was kind of happening um, politically on the scene. So this is uh, the monster sketch.
Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks to the Frank and the Monroe Room. Thanks to Rick and uh, Giving Backpacks. Thanks to Lauren McKinley, Brendan McMurphy, Eugene Jablonski, and I'm Rachel Bade McMurphy. And you can check out future jazz things that we are doing at imaginejazz.org. Tune in soon.